Jerry, you can barbecue back here. I deliver the coal? <laughs> sure, it's only the same guy who delivers the wood. Oh, then I gotta tip him. For any Seinfeld fans like myself, you're super familiar with Jerry Seinfeld's New York City apartment from the show, which served as a meeting ground for he, George, Elaine, and his next door neighbor, Kramer. In reality, the bajillionaire comedian lives in a much more lavish duplex with his family in Central Park West. Not to mention, he has a holiday home worth a whopping 32 mil and has owned other mansions over the years. In this video, we'll see Jerry Seinfeld's real life and super impressive properties. Jerome Allen Seinfeld, aka Jerry Seinfeld, is a comedian, actor, writer, producer, and director. He's known for playing the semi-fictionalized version of himself in the sitcom Seinfeld, which he created and wrote with Larry David. Also one of the funniest, if not the funniest shows of all time. This is an apartment. This is a home. This is a place to live. The show aired on NBC from 1989 until 1998, becoming one of the most acclaimed and popular sitcoms there ever was. In 2004, Jerry was also named the 12th greatest stand-up comedian of all time by Comedy Central. More recently, we've seen the show Jerry created and hosted on Netflix called Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, which makes sense considering Mr. Seinfeld has one of the most envious car collections around. But that's another video altogether. Before Seinfeld was produced, Jerry lived several blocks west of Central Park on 81st Street which became the basis for the fictional apartment from the show. Early episodes also show apartment 411, 129 West 81st Street, which is only a block away from the famous Beresford Art Deco building, where Jerry owns a duplex in real life. So while Jerry may not live in that cozy famous apartment from the series, he and his wife Jessica and their three children never strayed from New York City. They only upgraded. At the time of this recording, Jerry is still working hard and has amassed an estimated net worth of 950 million. So it's no wonder he can throw down 32 million bucks on one of his residences. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna be looking at funny man Jerry Seinfeld and where he calls home, including his extraordinary summer home in the Hamptons, his New York City apartment, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Elvis Presley and the famous house from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Some years ago, it was reported that the Seinfelds put one of their properties on the market outside of New York City. This estate was located in the lavish area of Telluride, Colorado, and listing information described their property as a family compound comprised of an evolving series of western ranch structures that recently had a multi-million dollar expansion and upgrade. Nestled in the Rocky Mountains, Telluride is a former mining town turned secondary home destination for rich and famous ski enthusiasts. Seinfeld's home actually sits near the Telluride ski resort. Jerry and his wife own two adjacent properties here according to reports. The first they bought for $7.5 million in 2007 and the second was acquired the next year for $2.3 million. When the couple hoisted the property onto the market, it makes sense that they were asking a whopping $18.2 million for it. The land spanned over 26 acres and that price tag included the lavish furnishings as well. Altogether, the mansion spanned 14,200 square feet of space with 11 beds, 11 full baths and 3 half baths in the multi-wing main house and its separate outbuildings. The interior space had a double height great room with stone fireplace, soaring wood ceilings and hardwood floors, as well as a full wall of windows opening to an entertainment terrace. Just think luxury cabin. There were cozier quarters in the home too, like a library with vaulted ceilings, built-in bookshelves and leather chairs. The skylit country kitchen also had wood beam ceilings and the well-equipped space had a large work island, high-grade appliances and multiple eating areas from a snack counter to built-in banquet. Bedrooms and bathrooms had a luxury country house charm to them, with reclaimed wood floors and more wood paneling. Elsewhere in the mansion, there was also a full gym. Considering there is 26 acres of land to roam outside, the Seinfeld's Colorado getaway had manicured trails winding around the property and through the trees, even leading to a beautiful creek. 
So while we don't have too many photos of the interior, one of Jerry's most impressive mansions has got to be his current vacation house in the Hamptons. He bought the home back in 2000 from performer Billy Joel for a whopping $32 million according to sources. Apparently Jerry actually shelled out just over $25 million in two separate transactions to acquire the 8.47 acre oceanfront spread in East Hampton, New York. But the couple went on to spend millions more on a full scale renovation, which is where we got the $32 million price tag. The Seinfelds redid the massive main house, reconstructed a second house that has its own pool, and added a private baseball diamond at the front of the property near the entry gates. An interesting fact about this property is that its location is pretty close to the Long Island house that was featured in the Hamptons episode in the last season of Seinfeld. So wanna hear more? The master bedroom opens into the solarium. Another solarium? Yes, two solariums. Quite a find. Jerry's massive Hamptons estate has a large manor house with its own garden and pool, a guest house, the main pool, a barn, and the baseball diamond that I mentioned. Although the couple keeps much of this mansion private, we've seen photos of the main living spaces. In the living room and common spaces, there are dark wood floors and white cabinets to keep things fresh and functional. There are comfy sofas, piles of books, and an airy, spacious kitchen containing one of Jerry's most prized possessions. For a man that has a show about comedians and cars getting coffee, it's no surprise that Jerry's super serious about what's in his cup of joe. In the kitchen here, Jerry owns a $17,000 coffee maker, an Electra Bella Poc espresso machine to be exact. His wife Jessica also enjoys the giant kitchen considering she's authored four cookbooks about preparing food for families. Back in 2013, Jessica explained about the home's somewhat simple decoration. When it came to decorating the place, I wanted to avoid any feeling of fussiness. Jerry and I are the least formal people. The pair frequently host parties at this estate, giving the guest house plenty of use throughout the year. Not to mention they have a 22 car garage, perfect for some of Jerry's massive car collection. Jerry, look at this closet. Look at this. I'm walking in it. It's a walk-in. Can you believe it? I'm nuts about this. What do you think? So as I mentioned, Jerry and his family do have a main residence in Manhattan that they've long owned in a prestigious and iconic building. It's said that the Seinfelds have bought up some other properties in New York City over the years like a townhouse building and more, but this is the one we know that they live at. In 2010, Jerry bought this duplex for $10.2 million at one of Central Park West's most glamorous buildings, the Beresford. This is a pre-war apartment building and over the years, apartments have listed for sale up to a whopping $62 million. Views over overlook Central Park as well as Theodore Roosevelt Park. This was originally the parlor floor and Jerry's apartment seems to have it all. Spanning 2,300 square feet with two beds and 2.5 baths, it may not seem like a lot compared to Jerry's other homes, but it's all about location. This is on the coveted D line over Central Park, south over the planetarium and all the way down to the Manhattan skyline. Jerry's apartment has a grand 19 by 25 corner living room with wood burning fireplace, two generous entertaining terraces accessed by multiple multiple French doors, and windows taking in the amazing New York City views. There's a large updated kitchen and dining room with park views, as well as plenty of space to make and serve meals. Other features include a spacious master suite, two studies, and a guest room. It's rare to find a duplex like this according to listing materials, considering there's a great combination of space and volume for Manhattan apartments. Now the Art Deco building Jerry and his family live in is also super convenient, because many of you might know that Mr. Seinfeld also owns a private garage or shop around the corner. It's just down the street from the Beresford and this is where the Porsche collecting comedian keeps and maintains a rotating selection as well as his well regarded and valuable collection. So who wants to see a car tour on Jerry's wheels? So I think I'll wrap up this house tour here. I don't think that's all for Jerry Seinfeld's properties as he's said to own a townhouse style building in Manhattan with five or more apartments as well and a warehouse building in Los Angeles near the Santa Monica airport he bought for 4.4 million. His wife also has a ranch house in her hometown of Burlington, Vermont on Lake Champlain's Apple Tree Bay. After looking at Jerry's mansions in Colorado, the Hamptons, and his New York City apartment, which was your fave? Be sure to tell me down in the comments. I also recently launched a personal channel, so if you want to get to know me better, watch my latest vid and subscribe. Here's a clip. While it might look like lingerie, I promise this is a dress. I'll let you in on a little secret. If you ever want a bikini like this, you plan on wearing something this flashy? I got this from AliExpress, it was like 10 bucks, and that's one of my secrets. Something that I would wear to a beach party or beach club. I was actually saving this for Vegas, it's from Fashion Nova, but I didn't get to travel this year, so this would be a blast from the past, but 
I still think they're hot. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house we're taking a tour of next. I'll see you all in the next vid. Bye.